What's up dudes? Welcome to The Pursuit of Paradise Episode 7. If you don't know, this is a podcast that I started probably at this point well over a year ago. And it's been quite a while since I came out with a new episode. There's plenty of reasons for that, but none of that matters right now. All that matters is that we're back with a vengeance, and I think I have a pretty solid topic to talk about, especially considering the strange times that all of us are currently living in. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. Alright guys, so as 99.9% of you probably know, unless you live in like a remote cave or under a rock or on like a secluded island somewhere, a lot, 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 lot of people are currently unemployed thanks to the wonderful, not so wonderful, coronavirus. And therefore, there's a lot of people out there that are applying for unemployment, but there's also a lot of people that are looking to pretty much look for any possible way to make extra income. And that is what we're going to discuss in this episode. So right off the bat, off the top of my head, I have quite a few different ways I can think of to make extra income during the coronavirus quarantine. But in order to keep this episode short and sweet and try and deliver the most value that I can, we'll go ahead and try and narrow that list down to the top five ideas I have to make extra income. I actually have quite a few more than five written down right now, so we'll start with five. And depending on what the time's looking like, maybe I'll talk about a couple more, maybe not. We shall see. Anyways, number one, you guys can probably guess because you're watching me on it right now, YouTube. Anyone out there can start a YouTube channel or a Twitch, is it channel? I haven't done Twitch yet, but I will, spoiler alert, be starting Twitch very soon. I've actually very recently been messing around recording some gameplay lately, mostly Call of Duty, maybe some NBA 2K20, uh, UFC 3, NHL 2020. There's probably a couple more I could do as well, but I'm probably going to focus on Call of Duty because that seems to be one of the most popular games as far as the amount of people that are interested in watching it. So I haven't been a serious gamer in probably since college, so it's been quite a few years. I used to be all about the Call of Duty back when I didn't have too many of those annoying things that we like to call responsibilities. And I don't want to brag or pat myself on the back too much, but honestly, I think I was pretty good. Wink, wink. <laughs> so I'm trying to rekindle that flame. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things now that I have, like a lot of people, more free time on my hands. I have a little bit more time to practice. I've been playing a lot with my little man at night. So I'm going to uh, keep practicing and try and get the hang of recording everything, possibly live streaming it, and either test out some gameplay videos on my current YouTube channel, maybe make a separate YouTube channel, but definitely I'll be adding it to a Twitch channel that I already made. Enough about that though, I don't want to talk too much about that because that's a pretty obvious way to make income if you are interested in that. And if you are interested in especially making a YouTube channel, please feel free to ask me whatever questions you may have as far as getting started with the channel, monetizing your channel, growing your channel, any questions you have, drop them below. I'll do my best to help you out. Now that the obvious one is out of the way, let's move on to number two, which if you're a subscriber or you regularly watch my videos, this one's pretty obvious as well, probably even more obvious than number one, and that is food delivery apps. There's quite a few of them. You got DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, Grubhub. I think those are probably the most popular and well-known ones, but I believe there's also quite a few other ones as well, depending on where you live throughout the country. But all of those, especially during a time like now, where the majority of America is at home and they can't go to restaurants to get their meals, apps like that are in higher demand than ever. So the demand is way up here. The supply of drivers is definitely increased since the coronavirus stuff started, but I would say the demand is still quite a bit higher. And all of those apps, at least the ones that I've tried, Postmates, Uber Eats, DoorDash, have a very easy and a very quick hiring process. In my experience, you can go through the application process and you can be on the road working within a week. So if you're looking for a quick and easy extra source of income and you have a car, you don't mind driving, you don't mind, as my girlfriend likes to say, running the roads a little bit, 
that is definitely a good option. The pay obviously is not amazing, but to be honest, it's better right now than it usually is, at least in my area, because of the supply and demand factor. And you definitely won't have to worry about sitting around waiting for orders. Because the few times I've done it during the coronavirus, the most I waited in between orders was maybe a couple minutes. Whereas before all this coronavirus stuff started, depending on the app, sometimes you'd be waiting for a lot longer period of time. Right now, that's not an issue. So if you want to make quick and easy money, go ahead and apply. Feel free to use my referral code or my referral link for Postmates, Uber Eats, or DoorDash, or not. Or, you know, if you have other friends that do it, family members that do it, go ahead and use theirs. Whatever you want to do, no worries. But it's always good to help someone out. It actually benefits you and whoever's link you do choose to use. So if you do want to get started with any of the delivery apps, make sure you use someone's link or someone's referral code. And once again, as I talked about with the YouTube or the Twitch stuff, if you have any questions about any of the delivery apps that I mentioned, feel free to ask me. I have quite a bit of experience with Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, and I'd love to say I do with Grubhub, but Grubhub doesn't like me, so. Still no experience with them, but there's quite a few people that regularly comment on my videos that do have a lot of experience with Grubhub, and I'm sure they'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. So if you have a Grubhub question, drop it below, and I'm sure someone will be more than happy to help you out. Which brings me to number three, which is pretty similar to number two, except instead of food delivery apps. Number three is grocery delivery apps like Instacart and Shipt. And there may be a few other ones that I'm not aware of. Once again, depending on wherever you are located throughout the country. But as far as I know, Shipt and Instacart are by far the two most popular ones. And just like the food delivery apps, at least in Instacart's case, it's pretty easy to go through the application process, get your green Instacart debit card sent to you and be working within a week, maybe a tad bit more. But unfortunately for me, just like Grubhub, Shipt doesn't really want to show me love either, so I can't personally comment too much on that. But just like as I said with Grubhub, I know for a fact that a bunch of people that watch my videos, especially the Instacart ones, they do Shipt as well, or they have in the past. So I'm sure, once again, they would be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. So feel free to drop those below, and hopefully someone will help you out. If not, for whatever reason, I myself am more than happy to do the research and try and get you a good answer. All right, so now that we got all the delivery apps out of the way, let's move on to number four, which is things like online surveys or testing apps and or websites. I've personally done the app testing, the website testing, using a website called usertesting.com. I actually believe I have two videos on this channel, and one of those videos goes through the process of taking an actual test and it shows you guys about how long it takes, what the payout is. So if you're interested in that, I'll link that video below. If you have any questions about that, just as I said about the other stuff, drop those questions below. I'll help you out. If I can answer them, I'm sure someone else can. As far as the online survey stuff, I haven't done any of that stuff recently, but I know there's a ton of sites out there and some of them may be a little sketchy, but I know there's a lot of them that are legit and actually do give you some decent payouts. Two that I know are definitely legit are Survey Junkie and Swagbucks, so make sure to check those out. Obviously, they're not gonna pay you a ton, but the surveys themselves, in my experience in the past, are pretty simple, and like I said, they are legit, and they will definitely pay you for your time. So you're not gonna make a fortune doing it, but if you're struggling for money, like a lot of people, if you were laid off, furloughed, or you're just unemployed in general, and you're open to trying new things to make extra income, I would definitely give the survey, or the app testing, or the website testing a chance. Now I only talked about Survey Junkie and Swagbucks, but like I said, there's plenty of other survey websites that will pay you to take the surveys, some are definitely gonna be better than others, but make sure you do your research ahead of time to make sure that particular website is actually legit so you're not wasting your time. Because nobody, especially in today's current strange times, wants to be wasting their time on some fake or sketchy websites when they could better spend that time on legit websites that are actually gonna pay them some cash money. With that said, that's a wrap for number four. Moving on to number five is another thing that I'm personally familiar with, which is selling stuff on eBay. Not only eBay, there's quite a few other sites or quite a few other apps that you can sell stuff on, 
based on what you want to sell. Some examples are Mercari, OfferUp for clothing, Poshmark, but eBay, for the most part, you can sell pretty much anything. Now, obviously, if you're familiar with my videos and familiar with my channel, you know that I have a decent amount of experience with eBay, mostly reselling shoes. But unfortunately, considering the current circumstances, reselling shoes at the moment really isn't an option because sourcing those shoes is pretty much impossible with all those stores being closed because of the coronavirus. So all I can personally sell right now is whatever I have on all these shelves in my current inventory, which I still have probably at least 50 pairs of shoes. So I still got some stuff to sell. I've been moving a decent amount of pairs per week, but obviously if you're just getting started with it, like I said, you're gonna have a very hard time sourcing shoes or sourcing other products to resell on eBay, which is why I mentioned some of the other apps. If you have some clothing laying around, maybe you've collected expensive clothing or accessories in the past, whether it be like Louis Vuitton or Gucci or you know one of those premium more expensive brands but it doesn't even have to be that it could just be stuff laying around maybe there's some clothing you received for a gift that you know it's nicer stuff you never even took the tags off it you never wore it if it's just sitting there collecting dust you need some extra income you may as well try and sell it especially right now so eBay is your friend you can sell pretty much anything on the app Mercari anything on the app offer up and I haven't personally used Poshmark, but I've heard and I've read that it's pretty good for selling clothing or fashion items. Now with that said, obviously you don't have to stick solely to clothing. Not everyone has extra clothing laying around that they want to get rid of. But I think for the most part, pretty much all of us has some extra stuff sitting in a box, sitting in a closet, sitting on a shelf that we say we're going to use or we say we're going to get rid of. But let's be honest, it's probably been sitting there collecting dust for maybe even a couple years at this point. And if it has any value at all there's no better time than the present especially like I said considering the circumstances to get rid of it so eBay Mercari offer up Poshmark are your friends don't be afraid to use them they're all pretty simple to make a listing they're all pretty simple to use if you have any questions about eBay Mercari or offer up feel free to drop them below I can definitely help you out with that as I mentioned earlier though I'm not too familiar with Poshmark but like I keep saying, I'm sure people watching this video are familiar with Poshmark and I'm sure they would be more than happy to help you with whatever questions you may have. So don't be afraid to be creative about it. Think outside the box. If you have video games sitting around that you haven't played in a while, if you have rare collectible action figures, old music albums, old electronics that have some value, computers, computer parts, I don't know. There's so much different stuff. You just gotta brainstorm a little bit. Like I said, don't be afraid to think outside the box. Be realistic with yourself. If you're not gonna use it, you may as well try and sell it, especially if you need the extra money. And that is all I'm gonna say about that for now, which brings me to, I know I said I was only gonna talk about five, but I lied. <laughs> Let's talk about number six, which is going to be something that pretty much all of us, for the most part, can do. Everybody has a skill, everyone has a talent. Some people haven't discovered it, some people discover it at an early age, some people may think they don't have any skills or talents, but I beg to differ. I think everyone out there is good at something or has a passion for something. So the number six way to make extra money during the coronavirus quarantine is... To be a freelancer or an online tutor or just teach something online in general. There's so many different websites. There's so many different apps you can use to offer up your services, whether it be, you know, just like a basic tutor, which honestly right now is a great time for that because I can say pretty confidently that every school throughout America is closed right now, which means all the kids are at home driving their parents a little bit crazy. I know from personal experience, homeschooling kids is not as easy as it sounds and there's a lot of parents like myself that could probably use a little bit of extra help. So if you're naturally good at a certain subject like math, science, a certain language, there's no better time than now to offer up your services and help some people out and in return help out your bank account. With that said, I'm not going to list all of the tutor websites or all of the online teaching websites or apps because there is a ton of them. But as I mentioned before, if you are interested in something like that, just make sure you do your due diligence and research ahead of time to make sure that whatever app or website you try is actually legit and will actually pay you. So don't be afraid to read reviews, maybe ask some questions, watch some YouTube videos, or even ask a question below. And like I said, although I may not personally have an answer for you, I'm sure someone out there watching probably does. Now, as I referenced when we were talking about selling stuff on eBay or Mercari or OfferUp or any of those apps, 
Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Like I said, almost everyone out there has a certain skill or a certain talent. If I personally were to do something with freelance or an online class or tutoring, I'd probably start at website design or graphic design or video editing or picture editing, something like that. But that's just me. Like I said, everyone has their own sets of unique talents and skills and things that they're passionate about. So find whatever that one thing or many things might be and take advantage of it. Because like I said, there's tons of people out there, tons of parents sitting at home that could definitely use your help. And a lot of them are probably more than willing, especially at this point, to pay for it, to make their lives a little bit easier. Now that we got number six out of the way, even though it was only supposed to be five, why not go ahead and talk about one more and hit you guys with number seven, which personally is my least favorite, but it is a viable option. I'm not interested in it because of health reasons I've talked about in a couple of my other recent videos, but for those of you out there that aren't worried about working in a brick and mortar store under the current circumstances, there is a ton of companies out there that are hiring, such as Walmart, Target, all your various grocery stores, Amazon. As I mentioned earlier, the demand for a lot of products like groceries and all kinds of stuff is a lot higher than the supply. And as a result, all these companies are hiring like crazy. Instacart's included in that and so are the various food delivery apps because their business and their demand is at an all time high because everyone's at home right now. So most people are ordering stuff online rather than go to an actual storefront. And therefore, all these stores are hiring and hiring and hiring and hiring. So if you want a legit job where you're actually going into a storefront, depending on what you're interested in, be sure to check out your friend Google. And I'm sure there's a ton of options depending on what your skill set is or what you're interested in if you are interested in part-time work. Woo! With that said guys, time for number eight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a wrap for the video guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I probably went over that short and sweet time by quite a bit. I tend to do that in some of my videos. You guys may have noticed that if you are a subscriber or you regularly, man, that's a tongue twister right there, tune in to this channel. But all is good. That's a wrap for the video. I hope it helps some of you guys out. If you have any questions or comments about any of the ways to make some extra money that I talked about in this video, please drop those questions down below. And like I said, I'll do my best to personally answer them. But if I don't have an answer, I'm sure someone out there watching this video probably does. And hopefully they'll be more than willing to help you out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you enjoy your night. Stay sane. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, stay limitless. Take a shot. You got everything you'll ever need. You fought. You're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, they got you. Are only make believe. Go